Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this tutorial we will look at how to create a histogram in Excel. Now a histogram is used within statistics and a histogram graphically represents the distribution of data. They look very similar to a column chart but instead of displaying categories along the horizontal axes they dis instead display intervals so each column represents an interval of numbers or a bin and the height of the column represents the frequency that that interval occurs so what we want to do in this spreadsheet is create a histogram to display to us the distribution of these values and I want to break these into intervals everything or oh, the number of pupils that scored less than 50 those that scored between 50 and 60, between 60 and 70, 70 and 80, 80 and 90, and then 90 plus. So they are my intervals or my bins. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to enter these bin values or these intervals. So from cell D4, I'm going to enter each one. Now I'm only entering one value because we need to enter the uppermost value of that interval. So 50 represents everything less than 50 whereas 60 represents everything in between 50 and 60 for example and they are our bin values and now what I'm going to do is go to the data tab and this data analysis button now you're only going to see this data analysis button if you have the analysis tool pack installed in your version of Excel if you haven't done that you'll need to look at going to your add-ins and getting that installed there is another video uh, on my YouTube channel, on the Computer Gaga YouTube channel, that explains how you can do that. For now, though, we're going to assume you have that and go straight to this histogram tool and click OK. So we get a histogram dialog box asking for certain information, which once we provide it, Excel will create this histogram for us. The first thing they want is the input range. Now the input range is our raw data. It is the range that we want to chart. I want to chart them school grades, them exam results, uh, aka B4 to B23. Then the bin range. So these are our intervals. So I'm going to select that small range I just entered, 50 to 90, D4 to D8. Uh, it will then ask us some output options and I'm going to select output range so it asks you, you know, would you like it in a completely new file, a new worksheet or somewhere on this current sheet I'm going to choose to stick it in this current sheet, I'll stick it just a couple of columns across in F4 there and I'm going to ask for a chart output as well so the output range here is going to show this frequency distribution table um, and it's the source data that it will create the chart from now I'm ticking the chart output because without it you won't get a chart <laughs> you'll just get the table and I want both I then click OK and we should have it here we go took a little while there uh, we have a basic histogram and the frequency distribution chart showing us the raw values of you know the frequency or the number of occurrences for each of them uh, bin values or them, them intervals and it's a basic histogram it's, it's not terrible but there's at least some basic modifications we may want to make to it such as me resizing it here and moving it around others may include changing this title distribution of grades maybe and another one, which I, well, another couple here really, which I definitely like to do in this example, is to get rid of this legend. You know, telling us that blue means frequency. You know, this, I've only got one data series. That's irrelevant. Let's get rid of that. And then changing these labels at the bottom, which say 50 and 60 and 70. These don't truly explain what they do. So I'm going to modify them within this frequency distribution table here. And I'm going to say that that means everything less than 50, 
stays 50 to 60, that's 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, and then we have 90 plus. And we can see these changing now in the uh, axes at the bottom there, this horizontal axis. Much better representation of what these columns relate to. Now there are other things we could do, you know, I could change these axes labels if I want, these axes titles, is bin really what I want it to say there. Now I can change the colour of these data series if I wish. You know, I could opt for a green colour or always a fan or red. You know, and I can also look at adding data labels to maybe display the data that I need. But that is our histogram created. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Uh, please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.